We're making shadow boxes out of a variety of different things and this one is rather unique. I had a lot of fun with this one. I have baby spoons that were both my husband's and mine from when we were babies. My mother and his mother gave them to me. And I also have a lot of black and white photos that kind of gives you an idea of our age from when we were babies as well. And I thought, how could I display this in a unique and unusual way? Well, I got out my good old silver wire cutlery tray and decided that the spoons laid out in the tray and pictures inserted throughout the tray just might make a very unique picture frame. So what I did was I first laid out my spoons and then decided where I liked them placed and then had to figure out how to tie them on. If you're putting a spoon right in the across a bar it's simple to tie the knot around it but if your spoon is going to go over the middle I found that if I took a loop of my ribbon and put it in the silver tray over a over a little bar and then put the two ends through the loop and brought them through they were secured to the center and now I can tie my spoon and it will end up in the middle instead of over a bar so that you can place them in different places which is kind of nice. Then I took my photos and a couple of my photos I trimmed so they would just fit inside and this one will lay flat against the back and then this one has a little bit it's a little bit tight in there so that I could bring it forward a little bit more and have more of a 3D effect with this photo. You can see you will need to play with it a little bit and then place some of the others throughout your display in a variety of ways. And that's how I made a shadow box out of a silver cutlery tray. To add a little bit of pizzazz to it, you could always back it with silver paper such as this. So you would have to decide, do you want to hang it on your wall with a silver backing or do you want to hang it against a white wall just the way it is? And there you have it, a baby spoon shadow box.